All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, by Hashem Kagodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They rule well, and a salute and a Shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring and pushing his truth in all sincerity and in truth. All right. Um, watching, uh, I was watching the apostles uh, uh, street speaking and uh, Apostle Tahar, he mentioned, uh, uh, well, um, Elder Apostle Tahar, he said, uh, he said that that uh, that Jake uh, you're protesting it won't solve anything basically that's not the way basically all right he said you just got to know that you are Israelites and that we are under the curses right this is a uh, I so I went into the word protesting on Google protesting the expression of disapproval of or objection to something okay now Jake is showing his 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 expressing so Jake is expressing his disapproval of the police uh, shooting down Jake for they say no reason See, but Jake, that's not the way though, man. Jake protested, it's not gonna solve nothing, man. Jake, you gotta realize, man, the so-called white man, he's not afraid of protesting, man. He's not, Jake, he's not afraid of you protesting, man. <laughs> that don't scare him, man. But what scares him is when you come back to your nationality, man. Is when you know and believe that you are an Israelite, okay, and repent. That that's what scares Esau, man. That's what scares the so-called white man, man. That that's what scares him, man. That's what scares him. Okay, let's get Isaiah 1 and 3. Isaiah 1 and 3, it says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. All right, hold on. Um, yeah, um, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kaka Dash, Baka Thumb. I uh, forgot if I said it at the beginning of the lesson, but it says, uh, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know, my people does not consider. See? So, Jay, the ox and the ass are the two most dumbest animals. But, Jake, you're acting just like those two dumb animals, man. You don't know who you belong to. You don't know who you are, man. Okay? All right? Because, Jake, we were brought over here to serve slavery. All right? Because we provoked Yahweh to anger. Yeah, do me twenty eight. Do me twenty eight and uh forty five. It says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
Well, I'll start up in uh, 44. It says, well, well, 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very, uh, very high, but thou shalt come down very low, right? So we are, are um, so us, the Israelites, we are low in this, in, in this society, man, right? But the heathen, they are above us right now. Why? Because we provoked Yahweh to anger, man. Says he shall lend to thee, thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail, right? So so in this society, man, we are the tail, man. Right, man, we have we have to go to to the heathen for money, for food, for jobs, all that, man. For clothes. Says, moreover, all these curses, curses come upon thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Right? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power, to keep his commandments, and his statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Right? So for a long time. It says, Because thou servest not Yahweh thy power with the joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So Jake, if we would have served Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, with joyfulness and gladness of heart, then we would have the desires of our heart, man. We would have everything that we would ever want, want man. Okay? We would have everything that we would ever want, man. And we would and we would be rich. And and I mean uh we we would have uh have have uh uh, uh, uh possessions that we've never had before, man. Okay? It says Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies which Yahweh thy power shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. Okay? Yoke of iron, right? Jake, this is a yoke of iron, man. Yoke of iron, Jake. Right here, man. Yoke of iron, man. It says he, he says he will put a, a yoke of iron up, upon thy neck. Who else been, been through this curse? Who else, man? Nobody else. No other nation, man, but us. But us, man. Okay. So, Jay, you must understand something, man. We are the Israelites, man. We are the Israelites, man. We are Yasha Allah. Okay? We didn't do what Yahweh had had uh, commanded us, man. So he punished us. He he uh he raised up uh 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 Esau Edom, right? And he put us in slavery. Okay, he took us down and he he put us in captivity. See? With a boy Burton right here, so. Yoga of Iron, man. Come on now. Say, hold on, let's get, let's get uh, Baruch. Oh man, I got 
toothache. Oh my god, man, this hurts. This hurts. No, it's, hold on, it might be Baruch 4. Let's see. Let's get this, it says. I'll start at 1, Baruch 4, 1. This is the book of the, of the commandments of Yahweh and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So when you leave, so when you leave the way, so when you are, uh, or when you wander out of the way of understanding, all right, when you wander out of the way of truth, you're going to die. Okay? It says, turn thee, O Jacob. Mm, mm. Oh, man, that hurt. That hurt, man. Ah, uh, says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Illuminated, right? Illuminated. <clears throat> says, light, lit with bright lights, right? So, being uh, uh, um, illuminated is what? Is being lit, right? Lit with what? Lit with this truth, man. Lit with this truth. Okay? It says, give, give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to Yahweh are made known unto us. And what's that? Repenting, right? And serving Yahweh by Shemel Shah, right? And having faith, man. Right? It says, Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved Yahweh to wrath. Ye were delivered unto the enemies. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to Yahweh, right? So Jake, we were 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 worshiping idols and all that, man. So we moved Yahweh Bashamel Shah to wrath. Okay? That's why we are in this condition now, now, man. Because we are hard headed, man. We don't listen. Okay? Plus it says uh, 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 um, that Yahweh he he made the creature what is subject unto vanity, right? So he made us go off. We didn't have a choice. He made us do it. He made us do it. Do it, man. He, and he can do that. Okay. It says, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. Mm. For when she saw the wrath of Yahweh coming upon you, she said, Hearken, ye that dwell about Zion, Yahweh hath brought me hath brought upon me great mourning right now how did Jerusalem uh, uh, how did she say hearken ye that dwell about Zion by the prophets the prophets man okay we're telling you what you're supposed to be doing okay it says for I saw the, the captivity of my sons and daughters, which 
the everlasting brought upon them, right? So who brought this upon us? Yahweh did. Why? Because he, why, why, why? Why? Because he's our father, okay? And we are his, what? Sons and daughters. So he's punishing us. That's what a good father does, man. A good father, he punishes his children, man. Okay? He punishes his children. Why? Because he loves them. Says, with joy did I, did I nourish them, but sent them away weeping and mourning. Come with weeping and mourning. Right? Verse 13. They knew not his statutes, nor walked in his ways. It's like, you know, walked in the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. Right? So we didn't keep our end of the contract, Jake. We didn't keep our end of the contract, man. So Jake protesting ain't gonna do shit, man. That's not gonna do anything, man. So so Jake, you're wasting so Jake, you're so Jake, you're basically wasting your time, man. You're wasting your time by protesting, man. You're wasting your time protesting. It's not gonna solve nothing, man. Get this. Deuteronomy 28 to 68. It says, it says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, right? It says, and Yahweh. Right? It says, uh, uh, and the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you, right? Meaning no man shall redeem you, okay? So we haven't been redeemed yet. We are still in captivity, right? Now, our minds have been redeemed, but we haven't been redeemed, what, man? Uh, physically, right? But our physical redemption and a deliverance is coming, man. So, Jake, you must know that that we, Jake, so you, so you must know that we are Israelites, man. That's why this is happening, man. That's why we are getting shot down in the street, man, because we don't listen. Okay? Hold on. Let's get Romans 13 real quick. It says, for he is, hold on, well, I'll start at one. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of Yahweh. The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh, right? So who's in power right now, man? Esau is, the so-called white man is. Okay, he's in power right now. All right, so we have to be subject unto him. And that means no protesting, man. No protesting, man. Jake, we know you hate it, man. I hate it too, man. But come on, man. There's, Jake, there's a better way of doing things, man. Because, Jake, uh, repentance, that scares the so-called white man, man. That scares him, man. That scares him tremendously, man. That scares him. Why? Because Jake, he knows that when you repent, that his time gets that much shorter, man. It says, Let's see this verse four. For he is the minister of Yahweh to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. Jake, so Esau Edom, he's the minister of Yahweh to thee for good, man. To do what, man? To correct you, man. To correct you. 
to correct you, man, saying, hey, man, 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 we keep getting shot and killed. There's a reason behind that. What's, what, what the hell is going on, man? Okay, it says, but if thou do that which is evil, be, be not afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. So, J Esau Edom, his blessing is the sword. His blessing is the sword, man. Okay? And who blessed him with the sword, man? Isaac did. And Isaac is who? Well, we all know that Yahweh was Isaac. Because he told uh, uh, um, uh, Abraham what? Oh, this is at the time of life. You serious? Come on, man. All right. This is, um, this is. Genesis 18 and I'll start at 13. It says, and God says, and the Lord said unto Abraham, wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, shall I of a surety bear a, uh, bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard? For, it's like, is anything too hard for Yahweh? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son right now who who met Abraham with the Lord Yahweh Shai angels did right so it was who Yahweh Shai and two angels okay and he said what that he will will uh will a return unto Abraham according to the time of life. Okay? And Sarah had what? A son. Isaac. Okay? So, this is another scripture that proves that Yahweh Shah was Isaac. Matthew 1 and 1. It says what? This is the book of the, the generations of Yahweh Shai, right? The son of Abraham, the son of David. See? Because in Genesis it says, by thy sword shall thou live. He said that unto Esau, right? Genesis 27 and 40 it says and by thy sword shalt thou live and shall serve thy brother and this shall come to pass when thou shall have the dominion that thou shall break his yoke from off thy neck now this happened during now now that happened during what during the time of uh, King David right So it says, what it says, by the sword shall thou live. The sword is the modern day what? Gun. Right? So Jay, Esau don't bear the sword in vain, man. He uses it, man. That's his blessing. He uses it to his advantage every time, man. So Jay, come on, man. Protesting ain't going to do it, man. You have to repent. Because, Jake, repentance is more powerful and more scary to Esau Edom, to the so-called white man, than protesting and, and tearing shit up, man. Hold on. It say what in uh, Wisdom of Solomon? Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5, right? It says, 
says this. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they looked for. Okay? So, Jake, what we are doing, man, when, when we are out on the street, bringing forth this, this, this gospel, this, uh, this truth, man, that's what scares the so-called white man, man. That scares him, man. That scares him. That, that, and that makes him mad, man. That makes him mad. Why? Because he knows that his time is short, man. Okay? And he knows that his judgment is coming upon him. He knows that, man. Why do you think he's constantly sending all of these agents to our camps, man? I mean, and to our videos, man. Why do you think that? Because they're trying to stop. Because they're trying to stop. Because they're trying to stop what we're doing, man. But they can't stop it. Why? Well. X5 and uh, 30... Eight, it said, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Jay, so you protesting and all that, man? That's a counsel of men, and that has come to naught. Okay, it didn't accomplish nothing, man. It did not accomplish nothing. Okay, it says, but if it be of Yahweh, ye cannot overthrow it, least happily, ye be found even to fight against Yahweh. Right? So, Jake, what we are doing, man, this is the counsel of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And it can't be overthrown, man. It won't be overthrown, man. Okay? That's why every agent that has that has uh, come up against us and, and that has tried to debunk this truth, they have been all chopped to shreds, man, by this gospel, by this word, man. They have been chopped, hewn to pieces, man, by this word, man. Period. Let me prove that. Hebrews 4 and 12. Says, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even even uh, to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and is a discern and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Okay, so Jake, th this word it never gets dull, dull man. It stays short, man. All right. Now swords. They get dull, man. They only stay sharp for for a certain amount of time. Time, man. Okay, but this but this sword, the true sword, it never gets dull, man. It's always sharp. All right, cause. Now let's get to uh, let's get to uh, to exposing Esau, the so-called white man, right, man? Because exposing him, Jake, that's doing more damage to Esau, Edom, and his power than protesting. It says, uh, this is uh, Second Thessalonians two and three. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except the come of only go away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Now the son of, of perdition, the son of destruction, the son of the lost is who? Esau Edom, right? 
It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, all that is worshipped, so that he as God, as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay? It says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. Now, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, have been revealed as, be, <clears throat> as being the wicked, as being the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay? He has been revealed, man. And that makes him matter and matter and matter, man. Because he can't hide no more. Right? Because it says uh, he cannot hide himself. Okay? says, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. <clears throat> and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And what's that? The prophets, right? And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And what's that? The, 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 uh, the, so-called UFOs, the, 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 uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, chariots and the missiles, okay? So, Jake, repentance is more powerful than what? Than protesting, man, Okay? Is more powerful, man. Repentance is everything, man. Because Jake, when you repent, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua has mercy on you, man. When you repent, okay. So Jake, it's time to wake up, man. It is time to wake up. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and, and Native Americans. You are Israelites. All right, we belong to Yahweh and all right, we, all right, we belong to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Okay, we are the sons and daughters of Yahweh. Okay, and the brothers and sisters of Yahweh Shah. Hamashiach. Okay, and we're supposed to, and right, and we're supposed to carry ourselves with class, right, and be upright. All right, we're not supposed to be niggas and bitches and hoes, man. We're supposed to be what, man? Yashar Allah, Prince of the Power. Okay. Walk with class, Jake. Hold your head up, man. Right? And know that this is happening because we are Israelites, man, and we are under the curses. Let's get one, one, one last script. Man, this tooth is killing me, man. Golly. Lamentations 4 and 21 to 22. Rejoice and be glad, O, o daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land in the, in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. Right? So Esau Edom should be doing what? Man, he should be rejoicing. Why? Because he is in power right now. Right? It says. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right? So we are the daughter of Zion. Jay, okay? And our, all right? And the punishment of our iniquity is accomplished. It's over, man. Says he, he will no more, so like it says, he, kind of so like it says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Right? So the, the, 
daughter of Edom, his sins have been what? Have been discovered. You Edomites, you are the wicked. You are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Okay? You have been exposed. You have been revealed. You have been discovered. And there's nothing you can do about it, man. Mm. Mm. Right? So with that, I say Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Ba'ashem Kabbadash, Ba'ashem Double honors to the apostles and the elders who gave me a stone in well. And a salute and a shalom to all the Akin that are out here laboring, pushing this truth, on sincerity and the truth. And with that, I say shalom.